Democrats are sliding in and saying they want more information. But 35 pages of rebuttal. Kellyanne Conway, counselor to the president, you're with me now outside the White House. Talk to me about this process today. The, the report has been out for a bit, but reports that the White House had seen it earlier. Well, I had and the chief of staff had not In fact, uh, we received it after the press conference today. We had no advance notice, but we already knew what was not in the report, Harris, and that is collusion or obstruction. Uh, this president and his team did not interfere whatsoever in the Department of Justice's attempt to get millions of pages of documents and dozens of witnesses. There was no attempt to redact any portion of the report. There was no assertion of executive privilege. This president and his team has been completely compliant. And what is the net result? The net result is some $35 million and 22 months later, we know what we already knew, which is that this president won that election fairly and squarely, that we didn't need WikiLeaks or anything beyond Hillary Clinton herself to get negative information on Hillary Clinton. You know what I did as campaign manager to get negative information on Hillary Clinton? I got it from Hillary Clinton. She was an awful candidate. He won fairly and squarely. No single person involved with Donald Trump's presidential campaign in 2016 aided and abetted their work with anybody from Russia. This report makes that very clear. And also, the central premise that Hillary Clinton says is she lost the election because of Jim Comey. She lost the election because of Russian interference. This blows that out of the water completely. And also, this president has every right to have fired Jim Comey. He did it because he saw him as a grandstander. He saw him as a showboat. He was losing faith in him when he thought about the way he had handled the Clinton email uh, scandal the summer before. And he has every right under the Constitution to have done that. This report also makes clear that when the president fired Jim Comey, he wasn't trying to end the Russia investigation. They actually make that very clear. So there's right, nothing there. I, I want to step in with a couple of things. Moments ago at the same time, I had two former assistant deputy attorney generals on air with me under a former President Bush. And they both agreed that the president's, while it may not be flattering, some of the facts in there of how he was talking about things and reacting to things, um, that that built a key basis for the attorney general bar to look and say, but there was no corrupt mindset there. So I, I, I want to just get your response on that, if that's been a topic. I mean, there were things that were unflattering to the president. So, I mean, intent matters. And that's the whole point here. Look, what all these people have had to say over millions of words, thousands of hours on TV, in print, on Twitter, has zero legal significance. What matters is what the Department of Justice and the special counsel concluded here, which is no collusion, no obstruction, and complete exoneration, as the president says. This has been a political proctology exam, and he's emerging with a clean Ooh. bill of health. There's no other way to look at it. And I want to say I've been with the president most of today, and he's in a great mood because he is exactly where this all started. And which is that his campaign won fairly and squarely. He is legitimately elected president. And I want to say something else. The Democrats and their friends in the mainstream media have put so much that, into so this. Have they put, they've invested so much into this, Harris, that they got nothing. As my Italian grandma would say, ungats. They got nothing going into 2020. They have no idea how to beat him because they figured they could indict or impeach or frog march him out of office. Not happening, everybody. Complete clean bill of health. And, and uh, you know, there are other things, too, in talking to the president. I was the first person to publicly call for Adam Schiff's resignation from the as Intelligence uh, Committee chairman several weeks ago on your network. I'm going to double down on that. Not only should he resign, he should produce the evidence that he said he has. He said, oh, he can't go into big detail, but it will come out. If he has evidence of collusion that somehow the special counsel couldn't find over 22 months and $35 million of our money, I want Adam Schiff to produce that. He ought to put up or shut up the way they talk about Attorney General Barr calling for his resignation. He's the chief law enforcement officer of this land, and he did a fantastic it, job today laying out a report, but it's the Mueller report. It's the Mueller team working with the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General. Do you think General, we need to hear from Mueller? 93 to 7. Pardon? Do we need to hear from Mueller, yes We've or no? we then... Mueller. Harris, this is the Mueller report, but the Attorney General said today he has no problem with Mueller testifying if Congress wants to continue mm -hmm. the charade. But this is the Mueller report. This was the Mueller investigation. This is the Mueller team's redactions. Bill Barr is new to the job. Deputy Attorney, Attorney General Rod Rosenstein has been there from the beginning, and he stayed on for that continuity. He was confirmed by the Senate something like 93 to 7 two years ago. It was his May 9th letter that formed the basis for what a lot of us learned about Jim and Comey's right, conduct. 
about people at the FBI. I'm going to jump in and point back to the, the news you just made, and that is the double down on asking or demanding for a look at Adam Schiff resigning from the committee. That we're producing the evidence, Harris. He has said we're on producing. TV where he's and not. And that under is the oath. news that you are making now. It's interesting because yes. we get a little bit of a flavor of maybe what's in that 35-page rebuttal from you, but we also get into the mindset of the president today. Kelly Ann Conway, thank you very much. Thank you. But remember, people on TV aren't under oath, but everybody in this report was. Thank you. Good point. Thank you.